need for speed. A new smart wheel is giving bicyclists some extra power right at their feet. But will it really be a game changer? We're shifting into high gear on today's Tech Yeah! Hi everyone, I'm Seema Modi. Smartphones, smart cars, and now smart wheels. Super Pedestrian, a Boston-based company founded by MIT Sensible City Laboratory, has come up with a device called Smart Wheel, which they say can transform your bike into an electric hybrid. Bikers can connect to a mobile app and their smartphone to adjust the level of power needed to provide that extra boost when riding their bikes. With us now to talk about the Copenhagen Wheel is Super Pedestrian CEO and founder, Asaf Bitterman. Asaf, how you doing? Very well. This Thanks, is a, uh, Seema, for having me here. Of course. This is a very interesting idea, very cool. Can you tell us how the smart wheel works and how the super pedestrian mobile app uh, really plays into it? Well, um, the Copenhagen wheel uh, is a standalone unit. You can put it on any bike almost. And uh, you basically just turn two screws. Here, I actually have one here. You put it on your bike, uh, put the chain, turn two screws, download an app, and you're ready to go. It's very simple. Um, the wheel is lightweight, so it will have very little negative impact on your ride, but a lot of positive impact. It gives you a push when you need it. It captures your energy when you brake or when you go downhill, and it seamlessly integrates itself with your ride. And how many uh, bikes does this wheel fit on? That's off. It can fit on almost any bike. If you have uh, principally any wheel size that's bigger than that red hub, it should work for. At the beginning, we're, we're releasing it for 26-inch wheels and 700C uh, wheels, which uh, dominate the market in terms of numbers. What inspired you to come up with this concept, really? Were you just on a bike one day and, and said, gosh, I need a little bit more speed? I think if you think about cities, a lot of them have been built to the scale of the automobile. Right? It's, a lot of them have been uh, developed in the past 100 years. Most of the world lives in cities. We're going to be stuck in traffic no matter how green fuels get. The master plans of cities like LA, of Mexico City, of Sao Paulo, they're going to stay as big as they are for a long time. So it means we need to move quite far on a daily basis. Okay. Now, so what's a... Yes. Well, I was going to ask you as well. I mean, I know the MIT developers were working on this product for almost four years. What were some of the challenges that uh, you and some of the developers faced while in production? Well, we decided to augment the biking experience. So the idea was to keep, first of all, pedaling as the only way to control the bike. So you just act with your feet. So one question is, how does a motorized wheel interact with your feet in the most seamless way possible? So it, in, it involved developing a sophisticated control system, one with quite a few sensors that sample how the rider pedals and then kicks in the motor automatically as the rider needs a push. That was challenge number one. There were quite a few others uh, related to packaging, related to design. We wanted to make sure that it looks, um, it looks great. We wanted to make sure that it makes your bike look even better than it did before it had it. How has the current price tag on this wheel worked out for you and your company thus far? $699 for this wheel. It seems kind of expensive, Asaf. Uh, what's demand been like? First of all, we're overwhelmed. We started selling the wheel uh, three days ago, and we're selling the a wheel every few minutes. So it's really it's tremendous. Thank you so much for everybody's support. And um, yes, it's not a little bit of money, $699, yet if you compare it to, say, electric bikes, which are nothing like what the Copenhagen wheel would do for you, uh, then the price is actually quite affordable. They go middle of the range, electric bike um, is selling for about $2,500 today if you look at where the market is, which is in Europe. So uh, you look around, you see bikes that are quite heavy, quite clunky, uh, um, and don't have any of the digital features, right. the smart learning features. It's a very different product, and it's much more expensive than what we're offering here. Awesome. Asaf Binnerman of Super Pedestrian, thanks so much for your time. And all of you, thanks for watching. I'm Seema Modi. Have a great day.